الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد في أن أحسن الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة بالنار أما بعد ذكر الله خير My dear respect brothers and sisters for tuning in May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this session for his sake and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this uh, a place where we are being surrounded by the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. So brothers and sisters, we're going to be continuing to talk about how can we prove يعني, that the Quran, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the final revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is indeed the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala logically from the Quran. Last week we started this and today we're going to continue doing this. So what are some of the things that we need to, as Muslims, we need to keep in mind when we are trying to prove that the Quran it is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the word of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there are a few things that we need to consider for sure in order for us to help us make a very a concise, strong argument uh, uh, that help us uh, deepen our faith bidin Allah ta'ala and make a strong Muslim bidin Allah ta'ala. So let's talk about a few things here bidin Allah ta'ala. So I think, so a few things here. So for one of the, one of the, most important things brothers and sisters that we need to think about here is the following you know so that if we if we are if we look at if we look at the, the biography of prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam you know the seed of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam you will see يعني, many examples of great morals that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam يعني, naturally has he was a, he was a true person he was a humble individual who ref, who refused uh, people to uh, 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 praise him too much, and he ref- he, he he disliked to pe- to people to uh, exaggerate in his, in their praise to him. So when someone like this, you know, when someone uh, when someone like this who has these kind of set of set, set of characteristics, you would know that this man is indeed a prophet of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and 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 and, and it shows that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a, a, a truly genuine individual that, that would not lie okay so and there are many things that we will talk about to show that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he did not yani he said that the quran in the last time we give some a few examples that, the, that he said that the quran was not from me you know and he said many things you know in the quran about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there are many examples that should prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not he did not yani uh, know the future and see and, and and these are some of the examples that we want we want to share with you with the ta'ala so what are some of the examples that that shows that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, yani, for instance, he did he did not he did not um, yani, he, he did not uh, uh, that shows his his true morals. What are some of the examples that show that, that, that show the Prophet the true morals uh, and and prove that the Quran was not made by him? So let me sh- share with you the very first example. The first example. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he, de- he denied the ability to know the future. He denied the ghayb. Okay. And, and there are several aspects in the, in the Quran that shows, يعني, يعني Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala in the Quran, قُلْ لَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ عِنْدِي خَزَائِنُ اللَّهِ وَلَا أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبَ Say that I don't know the, the, the treasures of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, nor I know, nor I know the, the unseen. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala said in the Quran, وَلَوْ كُنْتُ أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبَ لَسْتَكْثَرْتُ مِنَ الْخَيْرِ Say if I, if I knew the unseen, I would, I would have had so much, and I would, I, would, I would gathered so many good things in my life, you know. So that, that shows the Prophet ﷺ, يعني, he did not know the unseen, you know. And one time there was an actual instance that happened at the time of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in which there was a group of women, you know, they were sitting, uh, 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 around a, a pride uh, who and they were congratulating congratulating her and uh, uh, and they were mentioning some of the some of the people who died in the battle of badr so what happened you know so w- one of these women and all of a sudden she she, she was she was she was saying the following she said and at least we did not we did have we have a pro- we have a prophet who could pre- predict what's going to be happening tomorrow so Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam answered and he said he said the following he said لا تقولي هذا وقولي وقولي ما كنت تقولين he's like don't say this don't say that I know that, that I, I I know 
the 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 unseen don't say this you know and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him the, the verse that i just said to you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him the following verse where where where, where prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi would say i do not know the treasures of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no i know the unseen so why would someone yeah, I mean, you know, this should be like if, if he was a fake prophet or, or if he was a deluded prophet, he was take he would take this for his for his advantage. He would say, Yeah, of course I know the unseen. He would not deny it and say, I don't know the unseen. He would take credit for it. I was like, Yeah, of course I do. And then no, then not, not only he said he doesn't know, immediately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to him the, 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 the verse that I just mentioned. So, number one, to, to show and to prove. The, the true character of Prophet Muhammad he, he, was, he was what? He said that I don't, I don't know the future. Okay? So that's one of the best proofs that we could use for our arguments. Second thing, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, his appearance, his outside appearance reflects what's inside of him. He did not deceive people. He did not cheat people. He did not hide anything from the people, you know? And one of here, let me give you one example that shows that yet Prophet was a, a was a pure individual. What's inside was outside. So one time, yeah, this happened. This 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 example that I'm going to mention to you. This happened at the time of the, uh, the Prophet Muhammad after he conquered Mecca. So what happened after Prophet Muhammad after the Muslims have conquered Mecca or they took over Mecca? You know, there were a few individuals that that Prophet Muhammad did not forgive. Because of why? Because of the fact that they have hurt the Muslims a lot. So one of these one of these individuals, you know, uh, 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 you know, he attempted to make bayah, you know, seek, uh, you know, take allegiance from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam refused. But who, so who who interceded in his behalf? Uthman uh, Affan. Okay. So. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he 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 wanted uh, 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 he he and he bought him he brought this individual and he asked him to, to accept allegiance but Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam يعني, did not he did, he did not accept allegiance from him so afterward Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was telling the sahaba he said he said didn't any of you يعني, after he saw me not not accepting allegiance from him you know he would he, he would have got rid of him because of the fact the fact that yeah, i did not accept allegiance from him yeah, why don't you get, get rid of him the fact that you you saw that i did not accept allegiance from him because of what he did so the sahaba what was the response they said oh prophet of allah we did not know what's inside of your heart you know why don't you give us you know why don't you give us a you know like a, a sign or you know blink at us or give us a hint so what 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 was the, the response of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? He said, "It is not fit for a prophet to play deceptive tricks with his eyes." You see, that shows that what's inside of him was what's inside him was outside. He did not try to play, play and deceive and play tricks with people. What's inside of him was out what's out, was outside. You know, and they asked him. You know, you know, they asked him. Why don't you give us a sign, or give us a hint, or 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 blink, or 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 make any other sign? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "The Prophet does not do these things," which again showed how truthful was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's a second example. A third example, you know, was the example the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had with a boy from the Ansar. So what happened one time? Aisha radiAllahu anha. You know, she saw one of the children of the Ansar, you know, who was brought you know, in front of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu uh, alaihi and, and so he prayed on him. So Aisha, what she said, she said, "How fortunate is this?" She said, "How fortunate is this young boy? Yeah, you know, he'll be he'll be a paradise. He'll be in the paradise." You know. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what he said, he said, he said he, he, he told he told her, "No, no, Aisha." He said. He, he, he told her the following, and I'm going to say this in Arabic. He said, "Aw ghayr dalek ya Aisha, inna Allah khalqa al-jannata wal khalqa wal 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 khalqa laha ahlan." He said, "Oh Aisha, Allah subhanahu wa taala have created Jannah, and there are certain people who's going to enter it, and Allah subhanahu wa taala created hellfire, and there are certain people who's going to enter it. So we don't know." You, we, we, so Prophet uh, Hassan said, "I don't know what, what's the destiny of this this young boy going to be." Yes, 
you think because we prayed on him and I prayed on him and he's young that he's going to enter paradise. No, but we don't know. You know, we don't know who's who, who's going to enter Jannah, who's going to enter the, the hellfire. You know, you know so the, we don't know the people's destiny. He could have said, yes, for sure. Yeah, I prayed on him. He shall enter. He entered heaven. No, he would have. He, he could have played it and went, went along with what Aisha have said. But he said, no, we don't know what is the destiny of this young boy going to be. You see? So that's another example that showed that, that the honesty of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He could, have, he could have said, yes, of course, I, I, Allah told me and, he, he, and he, this guy is destined to go to, 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 to heaven. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa didn't do that. You know, that's another sign. Another, another example number four, you know, this is the example of the story of uh, 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 when what, a man or one of the Sahaba, his name Uthman ibn Mad'un. What happened? Uthman, Uthman ibn Mad'un, you know, he was, uh, um, uh, he, he, he died. So one of the, one of the women, she came to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, and, and she said, you know, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. You know, he shall enter, you know, uh, uh, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have, have blessed him. And, you know, and, and, and she was inferring as if this individual, this sahaba is going to enter Jannah. So what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you know, uh, he, 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 he told her the following. He said, oh, oh, woman, أما هو فقد جاءه اليقين والله إني لا أرجو له الخير. He's like, you know, indeed, he, ha, he have died. And I wish the best for him. And he said the following. والله ما أدري وأنا رسول الله ما يفعل به. Oh, woman, I, swear, I, am, I am the prophet of Allah. And I'm, I'm, I am not, I don't know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to do to me. You know? So Prophet, yeah, he, he, he even saying this about himself. Look, I, I am the Prophet of Allah, and I don't know what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is gonna do to me. It's not like you know that, that you know everyone is guaranteed, you know, uh, uh, Jannah. No, even though we think this guy is good, but the thing is, we, we, we know, no one can guarantee it. You know. So that being said, brothers and sisters, yani, that shows how truthful was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the people. You know that he, and even after death, no, and he, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the example here, you know, that talks about the unseen and the upcoming thing. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he could have defended his lies, and he said, you know, and and the fact is, this is unseen, and no one would ever know what's going to be the destiny of these individuals. But Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he did not, and, and no one would either, even if Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, would he have lied, he have lied, no one would figure out that he lied because this is unseen. But Prophet ﷺ, he stood and said what is right, not fearing, uh, يعني, not fearing, and not trying to, uh, uh, you know, trick people or give false hope to, to, to people. He says, look, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I, even me, the Prophet of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you don't know what's going to happen to me. You know, and that's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, يعني, يعني, there is an ayah in the Quran where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "فَلَا نَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَا نَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ we will, we will ask the people who received the prophet and we will ask the prophets so you know allah subhanahu is going to ask him what he have done how well he he have how how well he have delivered his message and etc you know so that being said brothers and sisters we have to understand that all these are, are, are examples of the truthfulness of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he did he did not try to trick people he did not to give false hope to the people he, he, he did not say he get he did not say you know uh, uh, you know try to uh, guarantee people uh, paradise uh, out of him out of it, in, in own self. Yes, he, of course, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that there are certain individuals is going to be entering Jannah, and but that was a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa taala. But if, if the, but if there was no revelation from Allah subhanahu wa taala, he, he would he would not know their destiny. You know, example the young boy from the Ansar. The example, you know, the, the man, the, the, you know, Uthman ibn Mazun, and etc. So, with that being said, that shows the Prophet Sallallahu was not a liar. He was a truthful individual, and etc. You know, and one one thing that we have to understand, brothers and sisters, is that when you, yeah, just like any other individual, when you study the style, the, the lifestyle of anyone, like when you study the lifestyle of a poet, you would know their style. You would have an idea of. 
you know of how how they say certain things you would you would have an, an, a, some sort of conclusion about their behavior and their character and personality you know but subhanallah brothers and sisters you have to understand yeah the truth have an overwhelming power that escapes the yeah you know, the veil of any concealments yeah you know, no matter how much you try to hide things you know, no matter how much or how good you think you try to hide things eventually it's going to come out yeah, people can easily read between between the lines and and see the kind of 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 of, of, of people, whether they're true or whether they're fake. You know, yeah. If, if somebody is a liar, eventually he will slip. Yeah, and he will, and you will see this see this whether through his words, through his action, through through what people say about him. But none of that, absolutely none of that, you will see in the autobiography of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the Seerah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A man who have who owned such a great qualities, where he was humble, he was truthful, he did not take credit for things that he that 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 that, that, he, that does not belong to himself, like the Quran. So no one have ever doubted his sincerity, and the fact that this this book was from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and not not from his own invention, and etc. So that shows, brothers and sisters, that we have to we have to really take these things in consideration. And we hope, yeah, and and, and that gives a, a, a stronger proof of the of the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, so now some people ask. He said, "Look, could the Quran be a self-revelation from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself?" So, to answer this question is simple. Okay, first of all, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was an unlettered prophet who was ummi. He did not know how to read or write. So how could he have come up with such thing? So the, the, some of the ignorant Atheists, what they say, they said, well, you know, he had uh, an int in it, in intelligence and he was, and you know, he had some visions and he was a smart man. And, 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 and yes, he, he, he was smart and he had good morals and actions. Well, to respond to that, you know, you know, the rational meanings in the Quran could not be deduced by intellect. You know, there are a lot of things in the Quran, brothers and sisters, that no one could ever, ever come up with by, them, by himself. It's, it's, it's almost impossible. No one can يعني, come up with these things by himself. يعني, it's, it's, it's almost it's, it's impossible for someone to, to, to deduce these kind, these kind of uh, information, whether it was you know the, the miracles of the unseen, the scientific miracles, you know things that happened in the past and etc. It's, it's impossible. you know يعني, يعني, and no human mind can, can يعني, come up with these things. And I'm, I'm going to give you an example. That's why you see many examples in the Quran that يعني, that shows that these are stories that 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 it, it was not known to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So for example, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, "وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ إِذْ يُلْقُونَ أَيَّقَلَامَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ يَكْفُلُ مَلِيَمْ." You were not there when you when you were when you, when when around Mary when people tried to adopt her. You were not there, O Prophet of Allah. When, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ إِذْ أَجْمَعُوا أَمْرَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَمْكُرُونَ O Prophet of Allah, you were not there uh, among the brothers of Yusuf when they tried to, when they were trying, uh, were they planning against him. وَمَا كُنْتَ بِجَائِهِمْ الْغَيْرِيِّ إِذْ قَضَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَى الْأَمْرِ You were, O oh, oh, Prophet of Allah, you were not beside Musa when we were revealing things to him. وَمَا كُنْتَ وما كنت تتلو من من قبله من كتاب ولا تخطه بيمينك إذا لرتاب المرتلون يعني you were not able يعني وما كنت تتلو من قبله من كتاب you were not you were not able to read and you were not able 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 to write and if you were do, if you were able to do so some people would have doubted you الله سبحانه وتعالى said تلك من أنباء الغيب نوحيها إليك oh prophet of Allah these are unseen stories that were not available to you نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك في هذا القرآن بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبيل من الغافلين. Oh Prophet of Allah, we were we narrate to you a stories, the best stories, you know, the best stories that that you would not you were not a bit aware of them. All these examples, brothers and sisters, consistently said that that oh, that this was given to you, Prophet of Allah. Oh, Prophet of Allah, you were not, you, you were not there. You did not know. You did not about, know about these stories and etc. Consistently. How many times in the Quran? You know? And there are some examples, brothers and sisters. Like, for instance, yeah, let's talk about here some examples of the Quran 
that shows the rest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like for instance, yeah, one example, the knowledge of the, the names of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But again, some people say, well, of course, you got them from the from the Old Testament and the New Testament. By the way, there are many, many prophets that were not mentioned, they were mentioned in the Quran, they were not mentioned in the Old Testament, like the Arabic, the Arab prophets, like say like Sayyidina Shu'aib. The the, the 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 and the, the people of the people of Ad and Thamud, Sayyidina Salih. You know, Sayyidina Salih and Sayyidina Shaib, they were not mentioned in the Torah or the, the or, or the Bible. They were not there. So how could you know all of a sudden they, they made them, them and, and now we're discovering that the, the, their nations existed. If you look at archaeology, they, they've discovered that people used to be there, and past nations used to be there. People, these nations were destroyed, and and when a nation got destroyed, the, no one can can relay their stories. You know, it's not like oh, this people used to be there, and people told people until it came to the Prophet No, this these nations were completely destroyed. So how could someone tell of them later on? But now, because after, after you know, after thousands of years and after so much digging, people now discovering that these people existed after thousands of years. Even when it comes to numbers, brothers and sisters, yeah. For instance, when 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 Allah, when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions mentions that Sayyidina Nuh in the Quran, it says that Sayyidina Nuh he 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 delivered the message, he delivered the message to his people nine hundred and fifty years. Yeah, just get, making da'wah nine hundred and fifty years. In the contrary, in the book of Genesis, in the Torah, it says that he lived. Not in fifty years, so there is. So the Quran came to correct. No, he did not live for for nine hundred and fifty years. He gave da'wah, so he lived longer than nine hundred and fifty years. For instance, another example: the the, the 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 story of the 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 people of the cave, the cave. According to the according to the to the the Jews and the Christians, the people of the cave is spent or they were they were in the cave for three hundred years. But the Quran came later on to correct them. Yeah, and if someone would have, would have copied, if we want to copy, he would have copied word by word. But no, the Quran came to correct. He said, no, you know, was dead or tisa. Not 309 years. Like he came to correct them. So how would someone, yeah, even these numbers, how how would a, 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 a really a, a, you know, a strange man who lived in the middle of the desert, who was illiterate, who was known for his morality among his people, would come up with all this huge information for in, within forty years? It's impossible. He would have he, he would have he would have to be, be a, a known traveler. He would have to have known uh, multiple languages. He would have to be able to read and write. And he would have to met many people, many people who could have educated him. But none of these things, you know, none of these characteristics apply to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not known to be a, 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 a traveler. In, you know, he, he traveled once or twice, but he was not known to be a traveler all the time. No. He did not know multiple languages. No. He did not meet many people, educated people that could have taught him these things. No. He, he, and he was illiterate. So how could someone who come up with all this information predict all the information that came within the Quran? It's impossible, you know. Last but not least, we have to understand, brothers and sisters, that in a human mind have have limits. And if if I if 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 someone came up with a piece of information, it's either it's either and if if without without revelation, it's either someone and he had um, he he came up with this from his own intuition or he, he he learned it yeah from my own self i came up with this information from my own self or i learned it from some somewhere else that and that's the limitation of human mind this is the way we, we learn and we know these things that our knowledge is based on these two things we either know like we we come up what we come up with it or we learn it so when someone comes up like this we, we, the only way for this to explain this that maybe he, he was inspired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was transmitted to him from a higher divine source that told him of these things. And inshallah, in the future, brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about two main things that proves or two main examples that shows 
يعني that the, the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم was inspired by Allah سبحانه وتعالى whether it was through يعني we will see these the sign of these things through our religious belief in Islam or through prophecies you know or unseen prophecies that 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 that, that we have so many examples of بإذن الله تعالى so inshallah بإذن الله تعالى this is a quick يعني easy uh, um, uh, lecture يعني to, for us to to know about uh, 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 some of these important uh, uh, findings, uh, some some of these important characteristics of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that proves that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was indeed a prophet, and the Quran was not an invention from him. I hope that you you guys have learned this. Uh, you have uh, this this became was useful to you, and I hope that Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, uh, have would strengthen your iman. Uh, after learning this, يعني, and Jazakum Allah khair, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of you, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.